Okay, folks, uh, today we've got a challenge from uh, Jason Meeks from Fondren Lock uh, that was passed along to me by Lock Butcher, and it is to reassemble this uh, Baldwin Estate uh, mortise uh, uh, bolt work. So we're going to give that a try. I rated uh, my lineman's tool belt for uh, tools and hopefully I'm actually going to be able to do this. So uh, first thing we're going to do is reattach this side plate. A lot of things kind of end up going in there. And we've got these uh, three screws here. So maybe one up here. Hopefully I'm getting them right. I notice that they're slightly different sizes of these guys, but all right. Should wind up correctly. I doubt it is. There we go. Okay. And flip it over. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I think I've got to do it twice on the bottom. So we'll just get those two set. Okay, uh, next, got this little doodad here that is going to control these levers. I think I've got that oriented correctly. Uh, got this guy right here, which is a thumb push. And we've got to get this spring on correctly. Wrap it around that post. And it really stings if uh, you get it wrong. Get that all the way down. Okay. Uh, gonna get this guy in there with his spring. One's a bit tricky. We can go in like that. That spring needs to ride on there. And then I gotta push him back. And speed that up a little bit. Get him up and over. That post. There we go. Slip this guy in and over. So we gotta get this low enough that I can get that spring riding on the frame. Push it down, push that in. Okay. So far I think we're okay. I haven't messed this up too bad. This guy. Uh, 
this button there toggles it and there's this one with the ball bearing in it try to hold that in as I insert it and of course I lost the uh, ball bearing it's fine we'll just get the spring in there first make sure that That's all lined up. Good. And hopefully. Nope. It's not going to go. Okay. Try it again. There we go. Got that in. Uh, now. Have the deadbolt which has to go in like so I think did I do this wrong maybe I did uh, this guy goes in like that think. Yeah, that has to ride in that channel. So, and then this is the actual retainer for the mortise cylinder when it's inserted. And then we have this flat mainspring. Goes in there. Pull that tip down. And the last bit is going to be putting that plate on, making sure that all of this junk here lines up correctly. There we go. up and let's see how we did so that works that works and let's see somewhere here yes i have a sergeant cylinder that hopefully has a tail piece that will work if we draw that Tail piece will actually engage the bolt correctly. There we go. Like that. And then let's just hold that in. That's a zero bitted cylinder. So, what the hey? But now being held in place. And if I turn it like that. Deadbolt shoots out, and they're now locked out. Turn it the other way.
way. And there we go. So, 10 minutes, 23 seconds on the clock right now. And uh, I think we're all done. So, uh, thank you very much to Lock Butcher. Thank you very much to uh, Jason Meeks from Fondren Lock for the challenge. And uh, maybe the next person I send it along to, I will uh, get them a mortise cylinder that uh, they can use to test it out. So, until next time, everyone, have fun, happy picking, and uh, good luck.